Weird Science, one of 1980's best teen comedies. A story about two high school nerds named Gary and Wyatt who create a woman with magical powers named Lisa. Lisa is their idea of the perfect woman, whom they create through their home computer. Lisa magically makes all Gary's and Wyatt's wildest dreams come true. Today we're going to go over five things you may have not known about the John Hughes movie Weird Science. Starting at number five, Gary left Rusty. In the 80s, teen actor Anthony Michael Hall and John Hughes worked on numerous movie projects together, like 16 Candles and The Breakfast Club. However, Halls and Hughes first worked together in the movie National Lampoon's Vacation, in which Hughes wrote the movie, and Anthony Michael Hall starred in the movie as Rusty Griswold. Hall decided not to come back to play the role of Rusty for its sequel, National Lampoon's Year of Vacation, so he could star as Gary in Weird Science. Number 4. Gary and Wyatt take different career paths. Elon Mitchell Smith is the actor who plays Wyatt in the movie. Weird Science was his second film. After Weird Science, he mostly starred in a few TV shows. One of the shows he played in was the comedic role Andy McAllister in the Superboy TV show in the early 90s. Later on, he retired from acting and would get his PhD in medieval studies, as well as becoming a professor of English. Anthony Michael Hall, who played Gary, apparently made double the salary of what Elon Mitchell Smith was making. While making Weird Science, Anthony Michael Hall's and John Hughes' relationship was going downhill. And after making Weird Science, the two never worked again together. Hall kept on acting though, and has gone on to have a successful acting career. Number 3. The script was made quick. In the 80s, everything John Hughes wrote turned to gold. He began writing for National Lampoon magazine, and as time went on, he graduated to the big screen, where he would write National Lampoon's Vacation and direct teen comedy 16 Candles. In 1985, he couldn't miss by directing The Breakfast Club, National Lampoon's Europe Vacation, and Weird Science all in the same year. What's even more unbelievable is the script for Weird Science only took John Hughes two days to write. When you watch Weird Science, you notice it's different than most of John Hughes' films by not being based on reality and being sort of a weird movie in a good way, like his name says it is. Number 2. Failed Number 2. A sequel for Weird Science was announced in 2013 by Universal Pictures. Joel Silva, who produced the first Weird Science, was going to produce the second one. The movie was going to be rated R to make it as spicy as the other comedy movies around at that time. The script was being written by 21 Jump Street scriptwriter Michael Bacall, but unfortunately, nothing ever materialized, and as of today, the project has been scrapped. Number 1. Lisa Lisa Kelly LeBrock originally declined the role of Lisa because she says she was having a blast living in France. Before she decided she would do the role, actors like Demi Moore and Robin Wright auditioned for the role of Lisa. However, American supermodel Kelly Emberg was cast to play Lisa. There were some scenes of her in the role of Lisa. Nonetheless though, the studio and Kelly weren't seeing eye to eye, so she left the production and Kelly LeBrock finally decided she'd play Lisa. These are 5 things you may have not known about Weird Science. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment and hit the like and subscribe button. This is Star Major. See you next time.